they, uh, this young fella said was a real gasser. What's mean a gasser? A gasser? <laughs> Well, don't let it worry you. It's some strange English we uh, sometimes use over it. Ah, it's slang. We, we I think use. I know what you mean. Well, uh, what what was it? Oh, something with the ant. Can you do it for us? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Go ahead. It was a gasser, wasn't it? From Florida State University's Flying Circus. He uh, sings a duet with himself. Anyway, here he is trying for the championship, Reg Stoffel. The game of just supposing is the sweetest game I know. That's just an unimportant technicality.
Victoria, British Columbia. Here's something to feast your eyes on over here. 16 housewives who play kitchen utensils. They call themselves the Alum Bank Community Kitchen Band. That's quite a setup. What, tell me a little about Alum Bank. Where is that located? Well, it's about 100 miles east of Pittsburgh. Uh -huh. uh, our little town is called Pleasantville, and our telephone exchange is Fishertown, but we live in Bedford County in Pennsylvania. And uh, the little well, community is You can stop right there Alum because Bank. I'm so mixed up I'll never catch up with Alum Bank. <laughs> Tell me how, how you got this band organized. Well, you see, our husbands belong to the Allen Bank Community Volunteer Fire Company, mm -hmm. so that makes us the auxiliary. And the band is a little organization within the auxiliary. Uh -huh. uh, beside but our men folks, we have about uh, 54 children and 12 grandchildren to be proud of. Well, I should think you should be proud. I never... I never, will I never will understand why you ladies get together with these kitchen utensils. I've seen groups like this all over the country, but I have to confess I kind of like the music that comes out of it. What are you going to play? Well, we're going to play a medley of college songs. Uh huh. This, I suppose, well, this wouldn't be music to dine by. This would be music to cook by, is that it? Probably. <laughs> all right, that's it. <laughs> all right, give them the cue, whoever does it. Finally, to wind up this video salute to the unusual and oddball acts from the original Amateur Hour, here's one act that hits the nail on the head. You'll see what I mean. Young application says he does rhythm nail driving. Name is Douglas Butler. How'd you ever take up driving nails in rhythm? Well, you got to have a hobby, I think. <laughs> Well, I'll go along with that one, all right, but I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know. I suppose anything that's away from your work is, uh, is a diversion. What kind of work do you do? A carpenter. <laughs> well, he kind of nailed me with that one, didn't he? Huh? All right, let's uh, both get out of this as best we can. Yeah, <clears throat> I suppose you, you've got some tune you're going to play with this, Lloyd. Let's, let's watch this.
I'm sure, I'm sure we've never had one of those before on the Amateur Hour, <laughs> anyway. You know, it's been said more than once that we Americans tend to be the most inventive and, and sometimes oddball people on the earth. And over the years, the original Amateur Hour gave credence to that philosophy. But the show never made fun of the acts. It just let the home audience enjoy the unique talents and the ambitions of people who, like themselves, just wanted to make their mark on society in one way or another. What you've seen are a collection of acts, some good, some unusual, but all talented in their own and sometimes wacky ways. And like me, when they appeared on the original Amateur Hour, they were all able to avoid this, the gong. Thanks for sharing a few laughs and a few memories with me. I'm Pat Boone.